In this video, I want to show you a neat trick for how to send follow-up emails to your email list within ConvertKit, even if they have already received emails from you and you want to tag another email to the same group of people. Welcome, it is Q&A Friday and I'm about to throw it down. This specific question actually comes up from our community and it says this. It says, Pam, can you add follow-up emails with a sequence? For example, if I want to send another email in the same thread, can you do that within ConvertKit? Well, my answer is, why, yes, you can. And I'm going to show you how. So I want to dive into uh, ConvertKit over here in my laptop. For those of you who are unaware of what ConvertKit is, my response is, where have you been? ConvertKit is my favorite creator marketing platform, and I'm so excited that uh, it's one of the tools that has really helped me to grow my email list. So I'm always happy to champion ConvertKit and to talk about how I use it. So this question is fantastic. Now, I understand where this question has come from because there used to be a time when if you have created a chain of emails within a sequence, once somebody gets to the end of that sequence and you wanted to add another email, they just wouldn't get that email because they had you know, gotten to the end of that sequence. So say for example, you are doing a launch and you have a seven day launch and you have say 10 emails over the course of seven days. And then on day seven, you decide, oh, actually, I'm going to add another email, but it's become too late because all of the 10 emails has already been sent. Way back when, it was a little bit trickier to do this. Now ConvertKit has changed things amazingly, and it's so easy to do at the click of a button. So in order to achieve this, however, you do have to start from the beginning. You do have to achieve it within the settings of your sequence. So let me show you. So to do this, you go to send over here. So if I hit the drop down, you have two options for sending an email. You have broadcast and you have sequences. In this instance, we're talking sequences. So I'm going to click on sequences over here. Uh, once you click on sequences, you're going to see all the sequences that you have, and I have a gazillion sequences, but never mind that. So you now want to go over here to click on a new sequence. So you go over to new sequence over here, and then you name your sequence. So I'm going to name this demo, just so I remember to delete later. Then I'm going to click on create sequence. Now. This is where the magic happens in the settings over here on the right hand side. So I'm going to click on settings over here. And in the settings, this is where you want to make the decision. So here it says, should subscribers be able to restart this sequence multiple times? And you have two options. Option one is no, only allow subscribers to receive email once. Option, option number two is yes, enable the ability to restart the sequence multiple times. What that basically means is that, you know how when somebody grabs your lead magnet or joins your webinar or grabs something from you or buys something from you, but perhaps they've forgotten that they grabbed that lead magnet and so they see your ad or your social media post again and they think, oh, I really want this thing that you are offering and they go to grab it again. So if you leave the option on no, only allow subscribers to receive email once, it means that if somebody comes into your email list a, a second time because they forgot that they did it the first time or perhaps because they didn't receive whatever it is you sent out for whatever reason the first time, it means that they won't get it again the second time. So if you want them to be able to restart the sequence, you click over here on yes. Now, I don't tend to use yes unless I'm you know, unless it's a funnel that I want people to have the ability to come back in on again, of course. You wouldn't click yes for, you know, other reasons, but if it's a funnel and you want people to be able to restart whenever they are ready to restart, then you might want to click yes. Now, let's look below. It says, should subscribers added by visual automations stay in the sequence? Now, this is where, you know, the question that was asked for today's Q&A Friday, where I get to answer it. Again, you have two options. Option one is no, subscribers added via visual automation should exit the sequence after receiving the last published email. And option number two is yes, subscribers added via visual automation should stay in the sequence. So we have the answer. If you want people to stay in the sequence, i.e. at the end of the email that Whatever email you have in there, you want them to stay so that whenever you publish the next email, whether it's in a few days time or a few weeks time or a few months time or a few years time, it really doesn't matter. There's no limit in this specific setup anyway. If you want there to be a limit, there's a different setup for that. But in this specific setup, there is no limit. If you want them to be able to do that, then you click on yes over here.
Now, what is the benefit? The benefit is, or rather the way that I use it is, if you have a newsletter, for example, or you have a long automation, uh, a long series of email or an email funnel or something that you know, you're going to keep adding emails to the back of this time and time and time again. If you want the ability to do that, then make sure you click yes, because then you are not under stress or you know, thinking, oh my goodness, I have to hurry because they're about to get to the end of the sequence and I need to add another email. No, there's no stress involved. Whenever you add the new email, whenever you add the new email, they will receive that next email. So you click on yes over here. You then go over here to update sequence and you click that. And once you have done that, that's it. It is now fully set up and that answers today's question for Q&A Friday. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed that. I'm Pamela Bassa, the founder of The Lucrative Lady. If you enjoyed this uh, quick Q&A Friday slash quick tutorial slash, you know, behind the scenes jumping on my laptop, then make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I publish it three times a week. Now, before you dive off, if you're interested in this specific video, then you're definitely going to like what I have for you over here. So check out this playlist for all sorts of things related to ConvertKit, automation, email funnels, and all of that good stuff. And I'll see you in my next video. See you then. Bye.